Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about the Empire Furniture Company. So before starting this video like this video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Guide to Empire Furniture Company The Empire Furniture Company was created in the 19th century, and it has changed hands and names multiple times since its inception. The now defunct company was recognized for its long-lasting craftsmanship and a focus on reproducing 18th century and colonial furniture styles. Empire Furniture Company is a company that manufactures furniture. Empire Furniture Company has closed its doors. The company's vintage and antique furniture is noted for its durability, high-quality cherry and mahogany wood, and distinct 18th century and colonial America-inspired designs. Because the company was rebranded multiple times over its lifetime, the furniture can be found second-hand under a variety of different names. The History of Empire Furniture Company The original Empire Furniture Company was created in the late 1800s at an unknown date. Huntington, West Virginia, is where it all began. Huntington's location on the Ohio River and near the Kentucky-Ohio border helped the furniture industry suit the region's commercial needs, of course. The Empire Furniture Company was bought by a businessman called C in 1905. Lloyd Ritter is a well-known actor. During the late 1930s, Ritter renamed the company Huntington Furniture Corp., then changed it again in 1946 to Georgetown Galleries. During its peak, the company sold several million dollars worth of furniture annually to both domestic and international consumers. The company started making furniture for every area in the house, which allowed it to increase its product line and customer base. In their heyday, the Huntington West Virginia plants employed about 175 to 200 people. By the 1950s, however, the company had run into financial difficulties, and had decreased production to nearly nothing. The company was declared insolvent and permanently closed in 1953. Products from Empire Furniture Company during its decades of business, the Empire Furniture Company created a wide range of items. As time went on, the variety of products produced increased, and the company was able to expand its warehouses and manufacturing lines to accommodate a wider range of designs. All of the designs were inspired by 18th century and colonial styles, and the materials used included mahogany, cherry, and walnut, especially in later years. Solid cherry drawers, dovetailing, and even pin, and mortise joints are likely to be found in an Empire Furniture Company buffet. Similarly, the majority of their mahogany furniture, such as an Empire Furniture China cabinet, has glazed glass doors and other high-end cabinet features. Of course, extremely thick cherry and mahogany tops, as well as bracket-style feet, will be present. Value of Empire Furniture While Empire Furniture has mostly faded into oblivion, it still has some value in today's market. Empire Furniture benefits from the association with Georgetown Galleries, which has a slightly better name recognition. Empire Company Dining Room Furniture, such as tables, chairs, hutches, and servers, is the most prevalent type of Empire Company furniture. Even though it is more than half a century old, this superb solid wood furniture frequently appears to be brand new. Indeed, solid wood furniture from this time period tends to live far longer than modern furniture. Of course, Empire Bedroom Furniture is known for its high quality and distinctive designs. Of course, you'll come across a variety of styles that were fashionable in the 1930s and earlier. As a result, you might discover Empire Bedroom Furniture in Art Deco or more typical 18th century revival forms. Empire, like other reproduction furniture businesses such as Baker Furniture and Kittinger Furniture, largely stuck to conventional designs with minor changes and additions. The quality of Empire dresses, beds, and vanities, on the other hand, would most likely be felt in the weight. Purchase Empire Furniture Company products with these tips. If you're looking to buy Empire Furniture Company products, keep the following recommendations in mind. They'll help you get genuine items at a fair price. Tip. Learn how the various firm makers' marks function. The specific maker's mark on the furniture you want to buy can help you determine when it was made. If the furniture is marked Empire Furniture Company, it was made before the late 1930s. If the furniture is marked Huntington Furniture Corp., it was made between the late 1930s and 1946. And if the furniture is marked Georgetown Galleries, it was made between 1946 and 1963. Tip. Pieces of mahogany and walnut are more precious than cherry. In the case of Empire Furniture Company items, antique mahogany and cherry wood furniture will be valued more than later pieces, which were frequently made of walnut.
Consider bargaining or waiting for a more acceptable offer, if the object you wish to buy is made of walnut but still has a high price. When shopping for Empire Furniture Company furniture, keep this guide in mind. Don't miss out on the best deals on Empire Furniture Company items. Alternatively, someone else will snare your lovely Empire Furniture Company wares today. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.